Hey, this is Zero at PG Zone HD, and I have another pretty cool custom toy box to show to you today. This is number 23. I'm first going to show you the different layers of the building process while also showing a race on the finished track up in the corner with Holly Shiftwell. And then for the final half of the video, I'll be showing a full screen race on the finished track with Crystal Lightning McQueen. So my thought process on this one was I wanted to do some creative stuff using the new Toy Story playset pieces. And I did this toy box a little bit different than most of the stuff that I've built before. For this one I decided I wanted to construct some of the main parts around the track first. And then I would build the majority of the track and the terrain later. And I started with the spiral mountain that I showed you at the beginning. And that's something that I had been wanting to create for a long time. But it didn't turn out exactly as I had planned. I kind of wanted more of a giant wall going straight down that had a track spiraling in and out of it through holes and caves but it would have to have been a lot bigger and I didn't want to waste a lot of the temperature gauge on that one piece so that might be something that I'm going to come back to for a future toy box later on. Now the idea behind this one was that I wanted to create like an alien planet with a spaceship that you would drive through but after playing around with some of the parts and the pieces I decided that it would be a little too difficult to make a decent looking spaceship because I wanted to have a few entry points that you could drive through so I instead went with sort of a communication base I really like the clear ramped sidewalk pieces that you unlock from the Toy Story playset so I ended up using those pretty heavily to create the top of the space station a couple building like structures and also the catwalk that leads into the main base and if you notice the moonlight kind of shines in through those so that's pretty cool and when you toss in the holographic blocks it made everything kind of stand out and I decided not to use the shifting sky changer this time because I thought it looked really good with the nighttime Toy Story space background I did run into a massive amount of problems building this one it took about 10 hours to finish it which is two or three hours longer than it takes me normally to build something like this and I'd say at least a couple of those hours was spent dealing with the bugs that the game was throwing at me especially with the racetrack I had moved a few pieces of the track around at one point and just wow the game really did not like what I did it got to the point that I couldn't drive on the track without it resetting me multiple times right back to the same spot on the track which was super annoying and I tried shifting some things around and I even moved the finish line a few times I flipped it around nothing was fixing it so in the end I had to tear up half of the racetrack and put it all back down to finally fix that issue that's the first real problem that I've ran into building a racetrack on here since probably the first two or three that I put together so I kinda learned my lesson on that I need to make sure that I build the track first so that I don't run into that big of a problem again now, I didn't add a lot of shortcuts this time there is a secret underground entrance that runs right underneath the starting line you can jump through the Epcot Disneyland piece as well and there's a couple entrances into the space station but the shortcuts weren't really going to be a big part of this toy box to begin with but the fact that it you know I was running into those problems with it resetting me that kind of steered me away from doing any major shortcuts I'm pretty excited with how it turned out I was able to fit a ridiculous amount of stuff into this one in fact if you zoom out and just look down on how much stuff there is in this toy box it's pretty crazy I didn't even realize that you could put that much stuff into one It's probably the biggest toy box that I've put together in terms of just how much stuff is littered around the environment I still left some open blank spaces around the track so that no one's running into stuff like trees or plants as they're zipping around and the track is pretty fast it's a really fast race track I wasn't able to use a whole lot of boost in some sections there's one little bug that makes winning on this track pretty challenging in the spiral section that I put together first that I showed you at the beginning of the video if the computer messes up at the bottom of that mountain it will respawn them at the top of it which kinda shaves like 10 seconds off their lap time when it does happen so it did make it kind of challenging for me to even win on this one and I did make a couple mistakes in both races bumping into stuff or landing awkwardly but it's a pretty long track so I don't guess you know a couple mistakes is a big deal but there you go. Hope you guys check out the DuckTales track that I put together this week for the contest. Be sure to like the video as it helps support the content of this channel. And more importantly, it lets me know that you guys are still interested in me making these toy boxes on here. This is Zero at PG Zone HD, and as always, thanks for stopping by.
Thank <laughs> you. 